Hey y'all, what up? This is Just That Dude and this is Just That TV and I am here with Catfish Season 5 Episode 10, Kayla and Courtney. Now before I start this review, let me just put this out here, okay? Nah, I don't freaking play with ghosts, okay? I don't play with ghosts. I don't play with spirits. I don't talk to nobody. I don't see unless it's myself. You know, I be talking to myself sometimes, but you know, that's not no problem like that. Like, I'm not talking to the dead. I'm not summoning the dead. I ain't doing all that. I don't play those games, okay? A kukui, no kukui. I ain't got time for it. I really don't. I swear I don't, okay? So, this episode was some bullshit because, no, like, for real, I believe that. I don't give a fuck. If you call on to a motherfucking spirit, you're opening the goddamn door to whatever, bitch. Any motherfucking thing and body can come the fuck up out of there, okay? Just because you call into your dead motherfucking granddaddy don't mean he gonna come through, bitch. A demon gonna come through and fuck you up and then fuck up your children's 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 and then somewhere down the line, bitch, I get fucked up and I'm gonna come back and beat your motherfucking ass because I ain't got time. Like, who playing these games with these spirits? Like, stop doing all this shit, crazy ass white folks. Like, I ain't trying to put it on the white folks either because you know there's some people out here who still do it, you know, any type of race. But I'm just saying, shit. Majority rules. But anyway, you got this girl named Kayla. She 18 from Kentucky or whatever like that. She got a boyfriend. She got a baby. You know, she got a little decent little life or whatever like that. Two years ago, she got this message on Facebook from this lady named Courtney. This lady named Courtney hit her up like, you know... What's up, what's up, what's up? You know, I've been speaking to your father lately or whatever like that. And he talking about something. He want to be in your life. He want to, you know, he got some shit. He want to get off his chest. He, he want to talk to you. Like, he got some things he want to say to you. And, you know, Kayla found this kind of weird. She like, what the fuck? Like, bitches, you playing games with me? Like, I don't understand. You know, my daddy died 14 years ago. So what you talking about, boo? Like, you got the wrong girl. So she like, no, like, you know, your daddy has been speaking to me or whatever. I've been channeling his spirit. He's, he came to me. I'm a medium. I can hear, you know, dead people, bitch. I see dead people and shit, you know. And I'm just like, Kayla, block this bitch, bitch. Your block button need to be strong, bitch. Block her because this bitch is tripping like anybody. Kayla is having a hard time believing all this bullshit because, I mean, if a strange bitch came to me talking about some she been talking to my dad somebody, like, bitch, uh, I'm going to block you. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm going to block you. Like, I'm sorry. You're going to have to talk to him by yourself. So, she like, you know, I didn't believe it or whatever, but she starts saying all this stuff about my dad that, you know, nobody really knew and how she known this because, like, she talked about she never met my dad before and all this other stuff. She talked about she knew, like, what he liked to eat, what he didn't like to eat, that he liked pickles on his hamburger, he liked ketchup on his, um, no, he didn't like pickles, he liked ketchup on his bologna sandwich. I said, bitch, that's nasty. She knew what type of cereal, I mean, not cereal, what type of cigarettes he smoked. She knew that he liked the Chicago Bulls and his favorite player was Michael Jordan all of this stuff like she like how do he know all of this you know everybody's skeptical her her auntie's skeptical her grandma was kind of skeptical her grandma asked like okay well if you if you talking to him ask him if uh how he died bitch like since you want to do all of that and she told her like bitch he died he committed suicide or whatever grandma was like bitch you need to talk to her this bitch is real this bitch is real like you need to talk to her because bitch like she knows some stuff Auntie's still skeptical. She like, this bitch don't know shit. I don't know this bitch or whatever. Like, this bitch just wants some money or something like that. But she was like, you know, she not even asking for money. Uh, she sent me fucking $20 gift card at my baby shower. She not even asking me for nothing. I've never sent her anything or nothing. She was like, her issue is that this bitch don't like the Skype. She don't want to come visit. She live in Florida or whatever like that. But, I mean, still, she was up here in Ohio. And she ain't even want to come visit me or whatever. So, she just like, I don't even understand. Like, I'm not believing this. I'm having a hard time. So, I just need some help or whatever like that. So, Neve and them come out to her. And, you know, they talking to her. And they trying to get the backstory about every little thing or whatever like that. Here's the little backstory. Mind you, it's like freaking 2 in the morning. So... Bitch, if I have some nightmares and all this other shit, bitch, and y'all don't see me for a long periodically time anymore, bitch, tell somebody that Frankie got me, because I swear to God on everything, bitch. Frankie, I don't play these games. Like, I really don't. Just leave me alone. Leave me up out of it, okay? Like, for real, for real. But anyway, Kayla's daddy, her name was Frank. His name was Frankie. He had a mental illness. He was bipolar, schizophrenic. He wound up, you know, having a little episode. He killed his motherfucking wife. He killed her mama. She was pregnant. He stabbed her multiple motherfucking times. I forgot how many times they said it, but bitch, it was multiple motherfucking times, bitch. He motherfucking Michael Myers her ass. 
Then he fucking packed up Kayla and her sister, put them in a car, and he was on the run. Police was chasing him, and, you know, they ended up making him spin out or whatever like that. And, you know, he went to jail. A couple months, motherfucking later, he offed himself. He hung himself. Killed himself. He had another little episode. He couldn't take it. He killed himself. So, Kayla said, you know, throughout the motherfucking years or whatever like that, he was in jail. She forgave him. She went to visit him. You know, she she loved him. Like, he was a nice person. He was a good, kind person or whatever like that. He just had a mental illness. And, you know, she said it hurt her when he killed himself or whatever like that. Growing up for her, it was hard. You know, being in school, she couldn't, like, have, like, father-daughter dances. And, you know, like, uh, when the kids bring their parents in. I ain't never did this shit. I was in motherfucking Detroit public school, so I ain't never did no shit like this. But, you know... <laughs> you know, my mama stayed the fuck away from them because, like, for real. She was mad as fuck. She had to come up there, like, bitch, that's, that's another story for another day. But, you know, Kayla just felt like it was growing up. It was hard growing up because she couldn't, like, show her parents off or whatever, like, did, like, how the other kids would do on um, little days, you know, Mother Days, Father Days, and all this other bullshit. So, you know, it was hard for her. She says she wants to believe that Courtney is telling the truth because she wants something to look forward to. You know, she wants stories to tell her kids and for them to tell their kids and all this other bullshit and you know she got a lot of hope because you know how shit just left off or whatever like that so they was like okay we got all the information we need let us take this shit back and you know do our motherfucking research before they leave uh kayla's aunt pulled knees aside and was like you know she feel like that this courtney lady is probably trying to manipulate um kayla a fucking um because it's some things that Kayla doesn't know about her parents that they've tried to hide over these years or whatever like that she feel like this Courtney lady know these things and is purposely trying to hurt Kayla and she don't want that to happen or whatever like that so you know she just she just fucking she's concerned and all this other bullshit so Neve and Max go to the coffee shop or whatever like that to do their little research the first thing they searched was his name they searched his name because they're trying to find out who he was and what all could Courtney go online and search and know and use, you know, to act like he's speaking to her or whatever like that. They read the article. The article says everything about who he is and, you know, about that night and the incident and everything or whatever like that. It also said that he hung himself in the bathroom. So they was like, maybe that's where she got, you know, where he killed himself from. So they was like, okay, let's go on Facebook or whatever. Because, you know, it's a photo on Facebook through uh, Kayla's cousin page. So they go on his page or whatever. Look at, at photos of Frankie. And, you know, it's photos of Frankie, whatever. He looked like he was a nice looking dude. He had like a mullet or whatever like that, you know, back in the day. But they also see that he had on a Chicago Bulls shirt. So they was like, okay, he got on a Chicago Bulls jersey or whatever like that. You know, Chicago Bulls was hot in the motherfucking 90s. You know, Michael Jordan was, that was his prime or whatever like that. So it isn't a coincidence for you to say his favorite team was the Chicago Bulls and he liked Michael Jordan. I mean, everybody liked Michael Jordan at that time or whatever. So they was like, maybe, you know, that's a red flag, maybe. And then they was like, they seen his hat and they was like, maybe that's a fucking Titans hat because he said he liked the Tennessee Titans. But you might not like them no more because, you know, they ain't really doing nothing. But I didn't story for nothing that. So, you know, they was like, maybe it's a Titans hat, but they couldn't really tell if it was a Titans hat or not. So, you know, they was like, they don't really know, you know. So they was like, okay, well, let's just see if this bitch is real. Let's, you know, see if she's real. They go on her page, look through her photos. You know, she got kids. She's married. And, you know, she's actively on her Facebook. They was like, this looks like a real page. They searched her phone number. Her phone number came back to her. You know, they was like, you know, she seems real. She seems legit. It was this dude named Eric on her page who was, like, talking to her frequently. So they was like, let's message Eric and see, you know, if he got anything to say. And, you know, see if this bitch is real. So they take all this information back to um, Kayla. They just telling her everything or whatever like that. They get to the, um, them messaging Eric and they was like, we actually got a message back but we wanted to wait to read it. So Eric says that, you know, this is Eric's wife, Erica. I said, bitch, that's so motherfucking weird. I would never motherfucking marry a person. Like, like bitch, if my name was Eric, I would not marry Erica. That's like so ugly. Like, what the fuck, the fuck y'all kids name gonna be? Like, Aaron, like that's so ugly, like, ugh. But anyway, <laughs> she was like, you know, she's willing to talk and answer questions or whatever like that. She, uh, they gives her they phone number. She calls immediately. And, you know, this is the shit the bitch say, like, Erica says that 
Uh, she's known Courtney for about nine years. They were neighbors or whatever like that. And a couple of years ago, um, she has witnessed um, this gift that Courtney has and she believes that Courtney, you know, is telling the truth. You know, she believes it. She's in it or whatever like that. She 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 justified the fact that yes, this bitch be talking to spirits and it's it's real. She says that a couple of years ago, um uh Courtney told her about Frankie and she says that it be times where Air of uh, Courtney would come over to Erica's house or whatever like that and Frankie would, you know, be with her. And, you know, she would feel chills and she would feel a presence or whatever. And she'd be like, girl, did Frankie come with you? And she like, yeah, Frankie's here or whatever. It's even been a point where Frankie didn't blew at this bitch's cheek. I said, bitch, Frankie was probably trying to get a bong. <laughs> bitch, because, I mean, niggas be blowing on cheeks and shit, bitch. He probably missed that ear. <laughs> but I'm like, bitch, no. Like, you got some, you playing games. Like, uh-uh, bitch. So she like, you know, this is legit. Like, you know. She's had many motherfucking incidents with Frankie or whatever like that. So this is real. So they like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? So they like, okay, we need to just call this bitch so we can hurry up and get down here. They call her or whatever, tell the whole situation. They ask her, can they come down? She kind of sketchy. She sounds sketchy as hell on the motherfucking phone, you know. She ain't really know if she wants to say yeah or not, but she agreed to it. So they go down there to Florida or whatever like that. She was like, meet me at this park. So they get to this little party. They sitting here waiting for her, whatever like that. Everybody got an eerie ass feeling. They just don't feel well. Just it's just a spirit. Just ugh. Just I'm just like it's too many motherfucking spirits. Like I just ooh, I don't like it. So um, what the girl name? Um, Kayla or whatever like that. She's anxious. Fucking Max is messing with this raccoon. They feeling all spooky and shit because the raccoon came out. Raccoon walking on his hind legs and shit. He's standing up to Max like, what the fuck you want to do? Like, he, he he squared up, like, for real, for real. Because Max is just walking towards him with the camera. So he backing up like, what, what's up? What's up? What's up? So they're like, is he supposed to do this? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Like, they're spooked the fuck out. Like, it was just so fucking retarded. Courtney finally arrives or whatever like that. And it was kind of weird because when she fucking got there... She was like very emotional and she hugged Kayla and she was like, you have your father's eyes. So I'm like, bitch, not only can you hear this man, you can see this man vividly. Bitch, vividly. Like, I, I ain't got fucking time, bitch, you playing games. Bitch, no, like, I know like y'all been motherfucking somewhere sitting in y'all motherfucking house or whatever and you see something at your motherfucking peripheral but like real quick or whatever like that like you be like what the fuck was that but it never be like like bitch I seen a, a straight up body a straight up nigga flesh bones like this bitch can see him vividly to see the color of his eyes bitch but I ain't got time she playing motherfucking games and motherfucking Kayla was freaked the fuck out bitch Kayla was hugging her like uh okay bitch uh, like what the fuck like it was so motherfucking awkward so motherfucking real Kayla was like is this for real like, is you bullshitting me she was like this is for real this is straight up like i would not play no games like this with you this is for real or whatever she was like uh she didn't want to meet up or whatever because it was overwhelming she didn't want her family to be pissed off with her she didn't want kayla's family to be pissed off or disappointed or any fucking thing like that so she was kind of overwhelmed and hesitant to meet up with her or whatever like that she told him she didn't know she had these abilities or whatever. She said one day she was in her house. She fell asleep. I think she was doing some work or something. She fell asleep and she woke up and out her motherfucking peripheral. She seen this motherfucking figure or whatever like that. She said when she seen him, he kind of looked like he was lost. Like he didn't know how he got there. So she knew she had to help him. I said, bitch, if I see a motherfucking bitch, if I wake up from a nap and I see a goddamn uh, 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 a figure out my peripheral, bitch, I'm hauling ass, bitch. I'm hitting the burners on the hoe. Like, what do you mean, bitch? I'm selling my motherfucking house. I'm not going back in there for none of my stuff. Like, I swear to God. Ho hopefully, uh, a spirit tell me to grab my phone because, bitch, if I leave my phone, bitch, is in there. Because I don't care. I don't want nothing else in that motherfucking house, bitch. Because I feel like, bitch, if I take my phone, bitch, you, your soul might be in my phone, bitch. It might be in my clothes. Bitch, you might motherfucking hightail it up in my motherfucking flat screen. Like, bitch, no. Uh-uh. I don't want it, bitch. You stupid. You got. She said she learned all this information because he told her. He basically uh, set her ass down and ran down his whole life story or whatever like that. She said she did Google it to find out, you know, if it was true and that she was losing her motherfucking mind. And then she said she did go to the doctor or whatever like that to see, um, you know, to check herself the fuck out because she didn't know what the fuck was going on. But the doctor a okay there, motherfucking thing said, bitch, you good. Like, bitch, you could just motherfucking you got a gift, bitch. 
So, Kayla kind of pissed the fuck off. She kind of overwhelmed. She like, what the fuck? Like, okay, this bitch is kind of saying the same thing over and over. Like, I want to believe this bitch, but she kind of like saying the same thing over and over. Like, she's not really saying shit differently. Like, I want to know these secrets because I know Monty talked to you and told you about these motherfucking secrets that they've been hiding from me. I want to know what the fuck they've been hiding from me. So she went back and she talked to her or whatever. She was like, okay, well, what the fuck is these secrets, bitch? Because you ain't saying much and I need to know if this is real. So you need to tell me some shit that I don't motherfucking already know. Courtney tells Kayla that her dad had animosity towards her mom because her mom was a stripper or whatever like that. Courtney, I think Courtney knew this. Then she says that her dad was abused. Her dad used to be abused and that somebody used to lock him in the basement or whatever like that. So that freak club, Kayla the fuck out. That freaks her out. She hopped the fuck up. She said, you know what? This is too much. This shit is too real. Too much information right now. I can't take it. She was like, this bitch knew. She was like, I don't know if my auntie told y'all, but um, I believe they said the grandma or some motherfucking body used to lock uh, her auntie and her uh, dad in the motherfucking basement or whatever. Her dad used to get abused and used to lock that bitch in the motherfucking basement. She was like, I don't know how she knew this unless she talking to my auntie. Like, I can't take this shit no more. We need to motherfucking meet up with her tomorrow when I can get my auntie so my auntie can clarify this bullshit because I can't take it no more. So, they leave or whatever, come back the next day. They sit down. She invites them to her house or whatever like that. They bring the aunt. So, they was talking or whatever. She was like, you know what? I actually talked to Frankie last night. And I told Frankie that y'all was down here or whatever and what we were doing. She said he was quiet. He didn't say shit or whatever like that. Then she said fucking, he started talking about the aunt or whatever like that. That how he don't like the motherfucking aunt and how she's a bossy bitch and how he ain't fuck with her back in the motherfucking day and all this other shit. She was like, mm-hmm, that sounds like him because we didn't get along and, you know, she fucking for the longest time she blamed him for, you know, killing her sister or whatever and all this other bullshit and, you know, she resented him for that shit. But, you know, she came to realization, she had to realize that it wasn't him, it was his mental illness and she had to move on from that or whatever like that. But, you know, that daddy Frankie, he wasn't fucking with her. He said, bitch, no, like, I ain't fucking with you. So, Courtney asked if anybody was uh, there for Frankie when he was going through all of this. If anybody was there trying to help him. Because she gets the feeling that nobody was there for him. He keeps saying that nobody was there for him. Nobody cared or anything like that. She was like, who is this, um, who is this, um, what the fuck? Who is this foster mom? And they was like, oh my gosh, the foster mom that he slept with? And she like, yes, yeah, this is the foster mom that he slept with? I said, bitch, he slept with his foster mama? Bitch, apparently, he slept with his motherfucking foster mama, whoever the fuck this bitch was, and when he was going through all this bullshit, he looked to her for motherfucking help, and this bitch didn't help her. So now, bitch, he torturing this bitch. He's torturing this bitch. I said, bitch! He's torturing her and this bitch Kayla was like, oh my motherfucking gosh, bitch, a couple of months ago, the foster mama contacted me and told me that, you know, he been coming to her or whatever like that and she been seeing this nigga and she been motherfucking smelling cigarettes and shit around her goddamn house. I said, bitch, it's y'all is getting too motherfucking deep, bitch, and I'm getting chill. Like, I don't have time. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, oh my motherfucking gosh. But they was freaking out about that or whatever like that. And, um, Courtney was letting them know that Frankie is here. They was like, what the fuck you mean he's here? They was like, she was like, he's here or whatever. He's not in this area. He's not going to come in this area or whatever, but he's here. He's watching. So, Neef was like, bitch, that's my cue. It's been real, but I got to get the fuck on. Let's go, Max. Let's go wait in the motherfucking car. Get y'all some time to talk, because this guy, this, this, this y'all issue. This guy shit is with me. And he bounced. Bitch, I was like, this is the smartest motherfucking thing you done did this whole goddamn episode. So they was sitting there talking. All of a sudden, the auntie was like, oh, oh my God, did you feel that? I got chills. She was like, it's not cold. I just got chills everywhere and uh, everything is standing up. Like, oh, I got chills. And she was like, he's in here, isn't he? He's in here, isn't he? So Courtney like, yeah, he's here. And all the other shit. And I'm like, oh my motherfucking gosh, bitch. Like, y'all are creeping me the fuck out. Like, what the fuck is going on? 
Like, oh my gosh, like, it was so motherfucking creepy. And then Kayla was like, okay, well, since he's here, I'm just gonna start speaking out loud or whatever like that. Like, I'm sorry, I apologize for everything. Like, I forgive you, I don't blame you for anything. I love you, like, I'm here for you and all this other shit. He started motherfucking speaking uh, through, uh, well, he wasn't like in her or whatever like that. Like, let me calm the fuck down. Speaking to Courtney, Courtney was relaying all this bullshit back. She like, uh, he says that he loved you and he's sorry for everything and all this other bullshit. And she was like, I, I guess you know by this time, like he says that he comes to you at night or whatever. The fuck, I have to tell him, do he come to me at night? So she like, uh, no, bitch. He said that he, he hate he, he hates you. <laughs> And he don't come to you at night, but you know, he over that, you know, y'all cool now or whatever. But bitch, he ain't fuck with you back then, so no, he didn't come to you or whatever like that. And it was just like so fucking eerie. Like it was so eerie and like, like I said, I don't fuck with ghosts. I don't fuck with spears. I don't do all of that extra shit. Like I really fucking don't like, bitch, I just can't. But they was like, you know, can we please, can we stay in touch with you and you know, and all this other bullshit. And she was like, of course, and all this other shit. And I'm like, bitch, for one, uh, Courtney, you a little too motherfucking happy. I don't know what the fuck you and Frankie be doing on the motherfucking side, bitch. But you a little too motherfucking happy. Like, what the fuck happens now? Is Frankie gonna move the fuck on, bitch? Or is he gonna move the fuck in your place? Because I don't understand. Like, this shit be weird. But whatever. I ain't got motherfucking time for it. Let me know what y'all thought about it. That was my motherfucking review. Make sure y'all click the thumbs up button. Share this video on all y'all social networks. And hit the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.